Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games, hosted by three very kind and extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you for joining us. My name is Tommy Daslow, and with me, as per usual... Oh, no, he's throwing me off. <laughs> ben Vanell here. Uh, for those watching on video, I'm modelling the new range of bootleg Clifton Hill McDonald's uh, uh, merch. Mm-hmm. Courtesy of one Tommy Dasselow. Mm-hmm. Um, Adam Knox, you're also here. I'm here. I'm modeling Johnny Big, the <laughs> clothing company that doesn't care how it sounds yeah. for plus side in this individual. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Fashionable. <laughs> yeah, it should well, be. Just Johnny's. Just oh, Johnny's, Johnny's with a possessive yeah, apostrophe yeah. rather well, than like, like boom, boom, ba boom, <laughs> boom, ba boom, the shop. Yeah. <laughs> that is, I mean, Plus size women's brands will they'll with mm. their ty- with, with their naming they'll mm. keep it a bit vague a bit ambiguous sure. but Not then always. the male ones will just be like Fat Simons. <laughs> there was one that changed its name I think to just Big City or something. That no, used the- it was Big City Chic, and I believe it changed to City Chic. Right, uh, but it was, yeah, sure. yeah, but okay. they just meant. The big city. They didn't mean you're fat and in the city, mm, right? They just meant it's a big, the hustle and but. Well, I love that HBO show, Fat and in the City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate the way they name, but the clothes are fine. Mm, Some yeah. of them have fallen apart, but nice cord- they know that, I don't have a ton of options. Is that a fine corduroy? It's an okay corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, very, you couldn't tell probably from the camera. It's so, um, it's narrow st- Strips of yeah, 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 you could get lost in there. Uh, <laughs> but you my, uh, you can get my McDonald's uh, merch line on vanillamart dot shop. Mm-hmm. And I was telling you guys this off air. I won't go into the full details, but oh, something happened do. in the street uh, oh, yesterday, yeah. and I had to give a uh, statement to the police. Mm. And as that happened, I was carrying a big box of my counterfeit bootleg McDonald's <laughs> merch. And I was just like, imagine if this was the thing that got me put away. Like, oh. I'm giving a statement about an unrelated thing that I witnessed. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, hey, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> I, it's bold of you to even call it McDonald's on here. I'm surprised you just call it Wickdonald's or yeah, yeah, yeah. McDonald's. Tom McDonald's. Donald's. Mm. Tom Donald's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, That clown, Tommy McDonald. <laughs> He's got well, to, so it's still called McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But just the clown is named Tommy. Yeah. Well, look, you know, I guess maybe I'm feeling a bit confident that if it did make it to court, <laughs> even though I'm doing something I absolutely should not do, yes. that I would get off scot-free. And mm. every, Well, you know what? You would be, at least be the little guy. Yes. In this yeah. situation, yes. whereas true. you might have seen, uh, and we've talked about this fucking Microsoft Activision thing, well, for as long as it's been going on for, but... No, we were talking about it before it even started. <laughs> we predicted it. We'd heard some rumblings. <laughs> we dobbed on them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is somebody um, who ha- has heard rumours that an earthquake's coming. Okay. Oh, I've heard some rumblings. Oh, oh, wow. oh, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> An earthquake was just caused by how much people were laughing at that. <laughs> Getting a lot more rumblings here in Melbourne lately. I have like... felt one of them. Really? I'm oh. furious about it. There's been like four earthquakes recently and I've genuinely not been able to detect. I've... I'm like the opposite of a cow. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm always I'm standing up before rain mm. unaware. I've what felt about... all of them. One of them was like 2 a.m. and I was just like playing, you know, Marvel Snap or some, bo- probably... Boulder's Gate, honestly. I've been <laughs> really uh, leaning into that one lately and was like, is there something, something wrong with my table? Yeah. <laughs> like every single time it's been like, oh, I've got to fix the. Oh, no. Well, there we, was that one in we, lockdown that was yes. nice because it was like, it felt like everyone felt it. Everyone in the entire city home. of Melbourne. Yeah. And Anyone like, count it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone in my street, we all like went out into the street yeah. to see what was yeah, happening. And it was like, oh, this is nice. So <laughs> that's what happened. After I didn't know there was an earthquake, so I saw a bunch of people come out of their houses and start looking up at the buildings and shit, and right. it was yeah. really peculiar. Like, we getting invaded by aliens? I What's... was going to a doctor's office, and I walked in, and like the picture frames were all askew and shit, and I was like, I don't know about this doctor. <laughs> 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 you weren't getting checked for Parkinson's, were you? Because that could have offset. You <laughs> no, know? yeah, just, uh, oh, it's cured. <laughs> yeah. I'm completely level. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it was really annoying. But, but it uh, feels like they're happening, f- yeah. you know, once upon a time. It was like, oh, there's been one for the first First time in 10 years. Yeah, yeah. And now there's like four a year. They mm-hmm. found a new fault because of it. Mm. Fucking picky earthquake people. <laughs> <laughs> Always picking things apart. No, um, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so the the FTC yes. in the USA yep. uh, is 
they're done with the first part of that. There is an appeal in now on behalf of the losers in this case, which were the FTC. Yes, so the, the judge found body. in favour of Microsoft. Yeah. But, um, basically, mm-hmm. the FTC's complaint is that this is them sort of buying out the competition mm-hmm. and uh, the judge has decided that that is not the case based on them saying... We're still going to put Call of Duty on everything. We've yeah. worked out a deal to have it on the Switch. And so just kind of based on that evidence that they presented, the judge is like, look, I have to say that from what they've said, mm. that they're not going to be, you know, that's it. That's not going to be unfair competition. As people in courthouses keep screaming at me before escorting me out, I'm not a lawyer, but the f- apparently problem mm. has been that the FTC's lawyers, yep. A, didn't seem to really know what they were talking about sometimes. That's like, weirdly been a real theme of this case of like yeah. anyone anyone who's like a professional adult doesn't know anything about games. And like the judge had to explain to them like how Game Pass worked at one point or right. like Phil Spencer yeah. did as well while he was so, like – base level stuff around this like that. And then part of the problem was that they kind of built their whole argument around that it would be bad for Sony Mm, rather than it would be bad for consumers. It's a bad precedent down the line. Mm. Right. It's probably the thing to argue. Because, yeah, that that happens a lot in court cases, right, is that you're not like you're meant to be ruling based on like what you've been presented in the room. So it's not just about like the wider implications that you happen to know of all the like common sense that you can put together if you're on a jury. Right. It's what they presented to you in the room. That's yeah, like yeah. all you're allowed Relating to, to yeah. all you're the, meant to really factor into your decision making. Yeah. If mm. they don't make the argument, even if it exists, you shouldn't consider it. Yes. Exactly. I think that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. And but, you're only allowed to argue the thing that's like the headline contention of the case. Right. right. Which very much should be around this stuff that it will impact people yes rather than sony but uh, apparently and again i'm not across the 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 ones and zeros of it but the that is the error that they were making and it does seem like such an easy fix for then microsoft to be able to go oh we'll put it on playstation yeah right you know they can just turn around and go they probably weren't ever going to (laughs) yeah (laughs) but if it gets them off the hook here like Oh, well, whatever. I yeah. mean, we own them, so we'll still get some money for it. We'll whatever. keep putting it on PlayStation when we buy Sony. I mean, anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so the other, it's in several courts, but like yeah, the, yes. the, the UK, the CMA is the one there, the Consumer Something Something. Markets Authority. Um, Country Music Association. Also. <laughs> <laughs> They're weighing in. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, this has nothing to do with us. Yeah. All right, see you later. <laughs> but we don't like it. Mm. Uh, that's how I assume the lawyers there talk. Real foghorn leg. Yeah, of course. I do declare. <laughs> well, they'd be good for arguing this kind of stuff because they're always bent out of shape about what is and is not country music. Ah, uh, yes. You know, they're always having to like reassess the genre. Yeah. So Your Honor. they actually would be a good legal team to have. Mm. Your Honor, I put it to the court of blue jeans pickup truck, Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> The star witness, Little Nas X, (laughs) the man who crossed boundaries. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So they are still doing it, but they've uh, are in more negotiation with Microsoft now. Yeah. There's apparently they've agreed to a divestiture. Uh, what the the inside talk appears to be, which is when you talk but in a quiet voice, being mm-hmm. respectful of others, it, the 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 inside word is that uh, Microsoft. The the main argument that the CMA is making is that Microsoft will have a monopoly on cloud based yes games, which that yeah has been that's been that case from the start, which is an odd distinction, and yet not the not the FTC's mm, one. Mm. Um, so the rumor is that Microsoft would go like, okay, we won't do xCloud in the UK. Right. See ya. Mm, yeah. That's fine. Mm. I don't even know because I forgot kind of that that was very regional and that Australia didn't have it for a while. Mm-hmm. And maybe the UK doesn't have it right now. Mm. I don't know. That will affect your Starfield journey. <laughs> Not when you're in the UK, VPN. possibly. God. Yeah. I wonder how a VPN would go with, with that. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but that is looking like it's making forward progress in Microsoft's favour over yeah. there too. Mm. I can't wait to see the bad movie that Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg <laughs> put together about oh, this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that Console War? Because I've, I've been reading the book, Console mm. Wars, mm. that is uh, has a foreword by them. And it's, the, I, you know, you rarely see this on books, but it's like soon to be a major motion picture. You know, yeah. you feel like you have the like original copy of the book 
Then you've got the copy after the movie's come out where the cover of the book is now just the poster of the movie. Right, Sam Neill's on it now. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like this edition's printed in 2016 and it's like soon to be a motion picture. It still hasn't materialised. Mm. I thought I read at some point that it f- fell over, like it something no idea. collapsed with it. No, I no idea what's going on with they're, that. They're busy making The Boys. Oh, yeah. and Who are in that? Call of Duty now. Yeah, I saw they're, that. They're adding Black Noir's in it. Black Noir, Homelander, and Starlight. You can play as them in Warzone, and okay. like there's a. It, I think it's in sort of special modes, but I've seen people complain that it's too all over it, and that right. you take the chemical V stuff or whatever to give you powers in the game. Uh, uh, compound V. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that's been delayed for, uh, season four of the boys because of the writers' strike. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's funny that like the FTC lawyers made the same mistake as like internet commenters mm. of like making it about console wars <laughs> yeah. rather than like anti-competitive and and the pe- the consumer yeah. I hate that word but the, the consumer prosumer. at the end of the day <laughs> that's better <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> expensive gullible <laughs> consumer um yeah it's it's ongoing they've got until like monday at midnight or something american time to uh, is like the deadline for when either of they them They turn can back now... into a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they go back to their cruel step auntie, <laughs> uh, which would for Microsoft be, I guess, Bill, Bill Gates? Gates. Yeah. I guess that's their birth. Yeah. 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 It is so funny seeing just like, yeah, anytime a case is won by one side and just seeing Phil Spencer, I was saying this to you guys before, mm. like tweeting like, this is a great day and, you know, ah. Uh, and you're Justice. Looking at, it's like you're OJ. Like you've <laughs> you've gotten off on this thing that's like pretty much everyone looking at it is like this is bad. Yeah. We well, sort of don't. Even if you're a fan of the company, it's like down the line this is just bad for all things. If mm-hmm. this is allowed to happen, it sets a bad precedent. I feel like don't I'm be a bit jumping for joy, cynical or something, thinking that like the horse has already bolted with the like massive conglomerate stuff. True. Especially yeah. around media, but then mm. like you know you, you, you're huge. Viacom, whatever massive yes. GE mm. companies, Coca Cola owns own, every drink and just all of that. Everything you touch is in some way one of four bloody lizards own it. <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm I not, agree, but I also think if if there's a chance to stand up to it, then bloody give it a go. Yeah, I'm just not not surprised no no neither and so I. yeah there's an appeal and i, I don't know if it'll be what'll go up but anyway yeah um Xbox. i wonder where we're gonna see the first like yeah the the in-depth tell-all mm. version of this whether it'll be netflix talking head doco mm. as you said seth rogan evan goldberg adaptation or i wonder if uh, our old friend jason shrek is putting oh, yeah. quill to parchment oh. as we speak he's got to have been tunneling under the courtroom to try and put a <laughs> glass up to the floorboards to I'd, hear what's going on i think that's my preferred my preferred uh, media adaptation of, is yeah. shrek book yep matt johnson documentary <laughs> style <laughs> yep. uh, comedy sure. Okay. That's, sure that's what i want to see yeah i wouldn't mind that glenn howerton <laughs> yeah being, uh, who would you cast as Phil Spencer? The guy who played uh, the like secret agent in the Marvel movies, Coulson. The do you, do you remember his face in Avengers? Vaguely, he's yeah. like the bloke. He looks a bit like him. Okay, so that's enough for me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, Glenn Howerton can play like Master Chief. Yeah, <laughs> get the rock in it because he oh. was like a, a spruker of the original Xbox. They uh, hired yes. him for that. Yes, give him a prominent role. Yep, but and then get someone else to play the rock. Exactly. Yeah, who plays <laughs> Young Rock? Steve Ballmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it, yeah, it's all, all all ongoing. But I don't know. It's so interesting watching mm. this stuff to me. Hopefully. To other and, people yeah. too. Yeah, and just the cherry on top of like an already like pretty weird year for them with mm. their their other like that before Starfield comes out, their big ace up the sleeve being Redfall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've already forgotten the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red Dead Redemption. Collapsing Creed? and then meanwhile this yeah. is going on like Yeah. yeah. They the, need this game to be good. The the one little wrinkle is that the judge his son works for Microsoft. Yes. Oh yeah, we forgot and to say that. Yeah, it wasn't is, a conflict of interest they decided because he works for some part of broader Microsoft rather part. than the Xbox mm. part. Which is, yeah, mind-blowing. Yeah. Like, still, hey, guess what there's a lot of out there? Judges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's not like there's one and it's like, well, it's not ideal, but, hey, 
what else are we going to do? Mm. But the case g- has to go ahead. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Maybe this, I, I would assume the way this works. And again, I think it's smart to assume things without checking about legal processes. Yeah. But that a judge gets assigned and if you can't prove that they shouldn't be assigned, then they just are. Sure. Yeah, I think I so. I suppose. Yeah. May- or maybe it was a case of like literally every other judge where this trial was happening. San Francisco? Is sure. that what I read? They all work for video game companies. So it's like ah. every judge has a son who works at Microsoft <laughs> and they're right. all just like a little bit closer to the games division. Okay. Yeah. And it just so happened that this guy has the son who was like the furthest away. Yeah. Still yeah. not ideal, but he's, he's actually... He's working on like the Zune reboot. So like he <laughs> yeah. barely works for anyone, let alone yeah. Microsoft. Maybe every other judge was busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, <laughs> there can't be that many I'm going court fishing. Cases. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what any of this is and I really don't feel <laughs> oh, yeah. like... I can't imagine oh. anything more boring than sitting in a room and having this... Explained to me. My wig is yeah. at the cleaners, yeah. so mm. I can't come in until that's done. It It'll would make take sense three months. if none of the, if the rest of them were like, "What's a Nintendo's?" and but yeah. this judge was like, "Well, my son works at Microsoft, so I know what Game Pass is." I mm. suppose. So I think he just learned it from this case stuff, though, right. and like because they had to explain some stuff to him, and it sounded like he maybe didn't understand <laughs> some bit. So it just seems like the whole thing, which is, is uh, nuts. It's nuts yeah. that there's not like a per, like a more specialized sort of. Division, like imagine being a judge, and it's like, okay, so just before the trial starts, we do need to let you know. Um, so a murder, mm. right? So that's when uh, a person decides to end another person's life, and him being right. like, "My right, son right, works right, for right. a knife company. Is that going <laughs> to come into this?" No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he works in a kitchen supply store, so people could have gone from there. I uh, guess big knives behind the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, get. I don't know. Get a game judge. Have a specific game judge. Yeah, uh, or just properly sit them down and teach them about it I'm separately, sure, I'm sure independently. That the judge did some reading, I guess. I don't yeah. know. But again, I guess it does come down to that thing of yeah, when you're deliberating this, you are going on how it's been presented in the room. Yep. So yep. the whole thing should be that you do it. Like if you're bringing too much prior knowledge to it. That's probably bad. That's right? true. You don't expect a jury to know the yeah. ins and outs of you know. You don't want homicide, them to, right? Yeah, like, yeah. know yeah. the person. Well, yeah. <laughs> who's accused? That's my friend. So yeah. I'm perfect for this jury. <laughs> yeah, I know him better than anyone. Yeah. So who better to deliberate than me on whether or not he would have done it? And well, I say yes, he did. Speaking of uh, of of judges who can lock people up, mm-hmm. uh, a game series that's been locked up oh, in yes. obscurity for a long time that I didn't even see this, but you guys said that they're. Bringing back Gex. Yeah. yeah. Gex is back. The Gex trilogy. Mm. I, like, I didn't even know there was a trilogy, to be honest. I was saw the ad for this. Gex. Okay. Gex 2, Enter, Enter the, the Gecko. Gex 3D. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were right. all 3D. I think they are. So okay. you might be right that that's not the name of the third one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Secret that does, Agent Gex? No, 3D does one, sound right? right. 3D does sound right, though. Maybe 3D was it was a joke title because they have all been 3D. Maybe. Because mm. that was his thing, right? He was a funny little fella. He was the wacky guy. Mm. He mm. loved TV. Yeah. So maybe Gex coming back now has to love the internet. He's like a meme mm-hmm. lizard. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. He's friends with Pepe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do love... I don't I know want we, him to be like that. <laughs> we talk about the whole, like, the overdone, like, shared universe thing is a bit weak. But mm-hmm. I would love to see, a get like, some kind of coming together of your, your failed late 90s oh, yeah. mascots. Your shovelware right. mascots. Your, your Gex. Your Glover. Mm-hmm. Your... Um, Croc. Croc. Croc's there. The B... From uh, that B oh, game, Buck Bumble. Buck Bumble. Yeah, even going yeah. back a, a little further, one, yeah, the Arrow, the Acrobat, mm. like all mm. these guys, mm. all these attempts at a new Sonic and a Vex. new Mario. Get Vex from later on. Two X's. Who was Who Vex? Is Vex? He was a fucking guy. Okay, he was yeah, Vex, okay. and he ran around, and uh, he had. That's I think, all I need to hear. <laughs> I think he had big fists. Oh, okay. or like, uh, like kind of like Knuckles. What he was just a guy. Oh, yeah. He wasn't some kind no, of. No, he was like a little elf guy. Right. I okay. think Voodoo Vince. Yeah, get get the whole gang together. Blinks the time sweep. I think up. we've come up with a premium podcast episode idea. Yeah, <laughs> what all of them together in the one game. You know, fighting the mid to late two thousands. <laughs> yeah, as a, as a collective enemy when everyone goes like, "You're shit." Or the or yeah. it's it's Smash Brothers 
I mean, I guess there's been a million Smash Brothers clones, but mm. we're making a purposefully bad one. <laughs> Why no, I is think he it back? Should be... Did they show anything about this? What? It's just it's all three. It's just of a them re-release, right? Re-released. It's li- limited run games. You yeah. know that company. Oh, right. So, right, they had like a, 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 a show the other day. Oh right, I'm mm. pretty sure, and they announced like a bunch of physical. Yeah, including and Tomba, the PlayStation right. One right. platformer. That's He's in there. From. He's, he's, in in, he's in there for yeah, sure. Yeah. You know what I think in this game? Mm. You know who I think the big ultimate baddie is? Who? It's either Mario or Sonic, Oh, right? of course. Okay. So yeah. it's like he's They're up in his They're both trying little... to piss on you the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're up in the ivory tower. Yeah. And you switching between all these different characters. You're trying to storm the storm the gates. I like it. Get in there and overthrow them. Mm-hmm. And then but you they're will all be like the king of the 90s. Expendable yeah. style. They've all continued to age. Yeah. So they're like they're all like the old version. Like Glover is like kind of got a couple holes in him and whatever. Sure. Yeah. He doesn't kind of move so well anymore. He's got a bit of arthritis and whatever mm-hmm. ghost hand is okay. inside of that now, glove. Now Gex's let's not tail say, has fallen off. Let's not say any more and file this away <laughs> for some banking that we may need to do yes. in the future. Yes, yes. <laughs> Going yeah. to the bank and being like, "Have you heard of Gex?" <laughs> No? I would okay. like to deposit some money. <laughs> what about Glover? Yeah, Have you heard yeah, of him? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is not like a remake. It's just like a repackaging, I, I feel like. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. But this could be because that's how they, when they did that new Crash Bandicoot, mm. that started with, hey, we're re-releasing, we've, you know, remastered all the old ones and they're on Switch and PlayStation w- 4 now. Again, not that I actually saw it, but I wouldn't expect them to be to the extent that those no. Crash Bandicoot no, and stuff but Because no. limited re- run games as well, their thing is to put out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, getting him, getting him back into the public conscience mm. could uh, could lead to yeah them going. It's time to it's time to give him a new game. Yeah, it's how every other thing in media is made. It mm. has to pre- be pre existing. So I know they're really scraping the. I could, I guess it's not a reboot, but by the time you get to Gex, yeah, it's like well, I just. Stop making games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we don't have any more. Gex is one of those like cultural touchstones where most people that have an interest in video games would know it as a reference point. Mm. And I reckon the percentage of people that actually engaged with it back in the day is quite low. <laughs> yes. and the, it's it, it's so representative of that like hyper 90s, like mm. anything's possible. We can make everyone. Everyone's got an attitude like that. Like listening to the free radicals. Mm. Yeah. It's all that same sort of like, we're all going to live forever. Oh, I've thought of another the character that needs to be in our game. <laughs> okay. okay. James Pond. Oh, Remember him? Yes, <laughs> fantastic. The little spy fish. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Again, <laughs> James hold Pond. off. <laughs> We've got a mission for you. Oh, wait, you'd have to get out of the water for this. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. That, there's something about James Pond that I'm obsessed with because I vividly remember seeing that on the shelves, being eight, you have like no taste, you're not <laughs> discerning in any way, but still being like, this looks fucking shit. Yeah. What is this? The first it's time <laughs> you yeah, you realise yeah. that your tastes are not aligned yeah. with something. Do you know how bad the design of something has to be oh. for an eight-year-old to be able to see through it as like, this is a rip-off. <laughs> this is some lazy set. Oh, it's a fish that's dressed in a tuxedo and has a little gun. Yeah. Well done. It wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it wouldn't. I, c- I can't remember what's about, but I do remember seeing that like a bunch of like eight and 16-bit Jurassic Park games are one of their oh, yeah. things they're putting oh, yeah. out. Yep. There's some other stuff like that. Mm. I think people really like those... Um, the SNES and Mega Drive uh, Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. having one of them. It's hard to distinguish. I had two. They were all called Jurassic Park. So I it's really this- difficult to figure out which one's which. I think the Mega Drive one is 2D, is, yeah. is yeah. a side scroller. And, and you, the- you play as Sam Neill or like a raptor or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a dinosaur. Yeah. And, yeah. and then. The SNES one is like top down. Oh, yeah. And you're so like that walking around the park with a rocket launcher. Yeah, right. on the NES and the Game Boy, I think. Mm. I, right. I had the Game Boy one. Right. And I remember it having pretty good music and some triceratops around at you. No, <laughs> all original. Really? Yeah. That's a shame. Blah, 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 blah. It was like kind of more like action hero type of. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Getting John Williams on the chip tune. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I'd love See, that. that would be. Don't that... let him shuffle off <laughs> yeah. before he's yeah. had a sit down in front of a Game Boy. That's his retirement hobby. It's yeah. chip tune music. Yeah. Love See, it. That, that era of a licensed game would come out or anything that came out across multiple consoles, everyone's getting a different version. Mm. Mm. That would be a good, like, saving argument for microsoft in this case oh you know if you just went hey we're gonna keep like true blue call of duty for ourselves we'll put it out on playstation but it's a 2d platform Mm, you know it's like Mm. i would love to go back to that day of like every console gets a completely different version of the license 
It'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. Well, you can go back thanks to that uh, limited run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that limited run. That limited run. <laughs> what a racket those guys have. They get oh. the license. They design a box. Put yeah. a fucking poster in it. That's 80 bucks, thanks. God, <laughs> Bob's yeah. your uncle. We should start doing that. Yeah. We should look for some licenses that we yeah. can acquire. Yeah, yeah, we can prove how difficult it is. <laughs> <laughs> we should put a tier on Patreon where it's like if we mm. get to this much money per month, we'll use one month's takings uh, to I, buy the cheapest license for a game we'll that get, we can find. get limited run to put all of our episodes on a Switch cartridge. Oh, that's yes. cute. Yes. Or, uh, yeah, we acquire Austin Powers Pinball and full re-release. Mm. Damn. That's... That could be good. <laughs> we write a little I thing would. back at for the bank, it. going like, "Hey, remember I was talking about Gex? I actually need a huge loan." Yeah, yeah. Do you know Austin Powers? And does he make you horny, baby? Yeah. Who? What company was that distributed through? Like oh, a God like knows. a Warner Brothers or something? I have something? a feeling like maybe THQ were the ones making Austin Powers. Okay, games. okay. Seems to ring a bell. From Let's back in get the day. in touch. It would be fascinating to know what license it just what a li- like what the mm. lowest rung license costs you. <sighs> yeah, like what is James Pond running for these yeah, days? Exactly. I wonder if that they do package some of them up, bundle them like bad right. stocks. Yeah, where you I think have to get. Oh yeah, you throw down ten k and you get and a people bunch end of up shit. with total overdose for the Xbox and like they buy all those things because they actually wanted uh, siphon filter or yeah. whatever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See that sometimes. Well, let's look into it. Okay. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna be going there making pitches to to big companies mm-hmm. standing at the front of the group and you guys being like, you, you weren't there for the meetings. Why are you taking the lead? And I'm like, don't worry about it. Also, my pants are down. My <laughs> pants are down, but they're not going to be looking there or they might be because yeah. maybe I've groomed them with the products from Manscaped. I hope you have groomed them with Manscaped because they're the best products available for men's personal grooming. Mm. Uh, they've recently released the Beard Hedger. I've used it on my beard. It's fucking sick. All right. I still haven't. I'm... I'm, I'm no fault of the hedger, mm. purely the fault of the cleanliness of the man. Stop hedgering your bets, Adam. Yes. <laughs> Stop hedgering your bets. A uh, beard off. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's no. what you yell if you like Sailor Moon style transform into just being clean shaven. But you yes. could be pretty well shaven with mm. this thing. It's a good quality uh, little package that you get as well. You get the hedger itself. How did it feel to use? Oh, it's great. Yeah, nice. It's awesome. It um, yeah, it has like a bunch of uh, like uh, length settings by I think like half centimeter um, increments. Yeah, I did it's wonder because you've said many times thing. that you used the uh, lawnmower mm. uh, on your. You were using that on your face as a beard. That's right. So I wondered if you were going to get the beard trimmer and use that on your pubes. I guess I still could. <laughs> that would be if funny I never if we were go like, back. <laughs> and guys, guess what? It also does great work on the dick region. It's not just for the face, folks. Mm, they got your nose and your ears covered. They've got mm-hmm. the uh, whippers. What's it called? The, the weed whacker. The weed whacker. Yep. The whipper sniffer. Uh, a whole <laughs> bunch of other things. I guess it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you head over to manscaped.com, mm-hmm. you can have a look at what they've got, and if you use the code filthy. You get 20% off and free shipping. Oh, yes. Yeah. Don't tell anybody because we hacked into their servers That's to make right. this deal. Yeah. Not really. We're tell the, everyone. We're yeah. the entity. <laughs> 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 That's how we're going to bring down the world. Yeah. By getting people <laughs> discount cheap. Discount by discount. Discount yeah. manscaped yeah. items. Yeah. What, are they, what have they got left? Because they've got the, you know, they love their um their gardening tool theme. Yeah. So they got the lawnmower. The weed whacker, the hedger. Yeah. As I've said to you guys, I don't think I've said this on the show, but I'm hanging out for them to make a like a hair, yeah. like a head trimmer. I think that's got to be the next thing they're working on in an R and D. And I'm thinking, what? Uh, yeah. What power tools? <laughs> the <Maybe>. leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they've just run out. They're like, you're bald. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, sh- the shit cunt. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> the head trimmer. Like, they just don't give it a name. They just, yeah, it's not worth it. The hair it. clipper. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever yeah. they choose, you'll find out on manscaped.com and you use the code filthy <laughs> to get 20% off. I love that tease for, like, a news story that we just made up. <laughs> <laughs> 20% off for free shipping with the code filthy. Yeah. yeah. Filthy. Well, you know where, if you're doing your trimming, you know where the, um, well, the best place in the house to be doing that is the bathroom. Oh, mm. <laughs> okay. Which right. also, as it happens... Uh, is one of the best places to go driving around in Mario Kart. <laughs> now, wait a minute. 
That doesn't make any sense. Thank the you. switch is portable. <laughs> you can sit there. Yeah, okay. To, um, long enough to prolapse. Yeah. Mm. I remember hearing... Oh, yeah, no. It, anyway, no, go it, into it. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. <laughs> Fully described. It's the, this is a brand new... The, 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 it, so it's, it's like, wave, what is it, the fifth wave? This is yeah. wave five. This is the God, penultimate. God, flashbacks to 2021. The oh, fifth God. wave. <laughs> is the toilet one brand new? I think so, yeah. Is this the first brand, brand new one in these waves? I don't know. I think... Wasn't there a brand new one last yeah, time? Yeah, there was a Yoshi's Island one. I think I think okay. what has been happening is like uh, they'll launch one. It like debuts mm. on the Switch and then it ends up on the mobile one. Yeah. But I actually don't know. I'm not engaged. They've with had the a bunch of the tour ones show up in... Yeah. Uh, uh, in these waves too like the sydney one was from there and a lot of those like location yeah ones. Yes. every every wave has had i think like two location ones that are all right. pulled from tour but yeah i think i, I think this is a new one mm. and yeah similar to the yoshi's island one in the last one it was it was i mean it was like announced in a nintendo director's like hey check this out here's mm-hmm. a, the new course that's coming right. Um, so new course. This is like micro machine style. You're tiny in a huge bathroom. Yeah, and level. it's cool. It's pretty detailed. There's All lots right. of nice little, um, you know, things floating around in the bath. Little kind of, you know, bath toy versions of little Mario characters and stuff. Hey. Yeah, yeah. You can, and it's got like good branching pathways where you can like, you know, if you get the right angle up off the dunny seat, you can be up on the like counter, like yes. driving all that kind of stuff. Um, they've added. Uh, Kamek. Oh yeah, the uh, the little the little wizard the little man, wizard wizard yeah. man. Yep. Um, Petey Piranha. Mm-hmm. Great character. Big, sure. Big flower big, guy. Yeah, big piranha man. Mm-hmm. And uh, Wiggler, nice. which uh, Wiggler. I didn't do this yet, but there's also a Wiggler bike in the game. Oh, so I love you can the have idea. Wiggler on Wiggler. Wiggler on Wiggler. You wow. can have Wiggler driving around a Wiggler. That's sick. Yeah. The Wiggler is like in the baby Batman cartoon. Yeah. Oh no, the Wiggler's back. <laughs> We've got to get him. That Imagine watching like the F1 and there's like, what's his name? <laughs> Ricardo just like in a big car that's shaped like his oh, face. Oh, I yeah. love that. <laughs> Adventures of like Baron von Munchausen <laughs> style. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wiggler riding Wiggler is like two thirds of the human centipede mm. centipede. But it's yeah. like a vertical human centipede yeah. where everyone's just strapped to each other's heads, having to walk around and like yeah. keep their balance if you're on the bottom. They got to wear a big trench coat, I guess. And then what, I mean, like I a guess- bunch of other like old. Uh, the old Mario Kart game levels. Yeah, there's an Athens track from oh. Tua, and then yeah, the, there's like the Daisy cruise ship um, mm-hmm. course from uh, the GameCube one. Yeah, the, and like yeah, a bunch of the classic ones in there. Uh, I haven't done the Wiggler on Wiggler yet. I was okay. too excited to do Magic Cooper because mm-hmm. I don't believe he's ever actually been in a Mario Kart yet. But real ones may remember back in the day when they were just like showing screenshots of Mario Kart 64. He was on the character select screen. Oh, really? And he never oh. made it into the game. He was replaced by Wario. And oh. I remember, like, that's kind of just always stuck in my head about just, like, the, the day where they were like, let's piss him off. Let's mm. put Wario in there. Yeah, like real Back to the Future style. <laughs> yeah. They filmed the whole 64. And so yeah. there's something that really scratches that sort of obsessive part of my brain where I'm like, it's sick that he's finally in there. Right. I mm. love that they've finally got him in there. So I've been playing as him. Cool to have some new characters in when I don't think, you know, they didn't really say at any point they were going to do that. I don't yeah, think anyone yeah. really expected them to be adding kind of new content in that way. And it would be cool if they added some more, like, cars and mm. parts and stuff while they were at it. And, yeah, these tracks are fun, but playing it last night, it just really was driving home to me, like, my God, we're so ready for <laughs> a new Mario Kart. Like they it may be the one of the longest stretches of a Nintendo IP without any kind of announcement or tease mm. of the next one coming out. F Zero is the one. F Zero is just dead. But like, yeah. for it to be as popular as it is and go this long without a, here's what the new thing we're working on is. But uh, man, I really hope that it's um a bit of a shake up. It'd be great if it's. Mm. I think people. The way that they're just putting all these old courses into this one and sort of making it like an ultimate version of Mario Kart up to this point seems to suggest what a lot of people think it's going to maybe just be more like a Smash brothers kind of thing mm. where they've already dabbled with having other characters in there where it's like, here's a Pikmin, you know, it's just like Nintendo cards. The, it's like, here's a right, Pikmin track, here's right. just every character has their own little thing. I don't remember where I saw this. 
but please go on. <laughs> <laughs> Reports are in from mm. somewhere that yeah, they're in active development on nine. Yeah, and that it is like a shake-up was the word I believe. Right, I'd love a little okay. adventure mode Diddy Kong racing style kind of thing. Mm. That'd be great. Yeah, because these as fun as a lot of these tracks are, they are like so far away from using the Mario universe in any you know meaningful way. That's why the Yoshi's Island track was so cool because it had all those little visual reference points and it had the music and it mm-hmm. had all those little things like a lot of like just driving around Bangkok is cool if you've been there but like I would much prefer it be a game where it's like here's a Donkey Kong jungle track here's a Pikmin track here's mm-hmm. an Animal Crossing track here's, here's Hyrule yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and they, they, they've you know b- b- chucking in Link and the Animal Crossing guys and whatever in mm-hmm. 8 they've definitely uh, moved forward yeah. in that here's direction. a Splatoon skyscraper that you're driving be sick. through like just Put all, I'd rather than put all that stuff in than it just be random like, mm. oh, he's just a fucking desert from somewhere. Especially with Smash Brothers seemingly having an extended break. Yeah. Because, you know, they said ultimate like, we're done. Yeah. So. Uh, It'll be Mario Kart 9 on the next console. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Probably. Early. Potentially, yeah. Early if not launch. Absolutely. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. I'd. I'd, I'd it, they, in, if they're in active development now, I guess I wouldn't expect it. Cause I'm th- thinking that that thing will come out next year, surely, right? The mm. Switch Two. Yeah, that's probably I mean, it, it, a new Mario Mario Kart the year after or something. Yeah, like maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think they go one two first year. Mario one, platformer. One two Switch again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one two three Switch. <laughs> I'd Every, play that. Everybody else one two Switch. Ah. One two Switch two. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think. So yeah, we we think Mario 3D platformer, Mario Kart, Metroid Mario Prime Kart. Four, yeah, mm. for the launch of that. I yes, guess. I mean that's a good that's a good first year of a console. Well, we've if, just made it up, so <laughs> 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 it would be. But <laughs> if what we've come up with true. is the best case scenario mm. happens, then call I'll me be crazy, happy. but that would be good. <laughs> A best yeah. case scenario, seemingly for a bunch of people. I saw a thing that uh, Baldur's Gate three yes. sales have surged, partly because they've been talking about it. But the thing that I believe, probably erroneously, some people are attributing that to is that they've specifically outlined that you will be able to fuck a bear in the game. They released a trailer of it or a, yeah. a clip. Yeah, they had like a, a <laughs> some <laughs> some presentation. It's and real. As a this is a real thing. It, yeah. Putting out the clip is just like a funny step. Like yeah. not just don't take our. <laughs> Word for it. Yeah. Here's a porno that we've made. And it was shown in the context of a longer presentation, and they mm. were specifically talking about the romance element of the game at that point. But it means that separate to that, there is now a clip of like this trailer for Baldur's Gate 3 that just makes it seem like the horniest game. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you fuck a bear and a squirrel drops its nut because it's yes. looking at you. And, and anyway, you've been playing it. Yeah. For yeah. that if reason. You thought, for that only reason. If you thought yeah. bear porn got it to surge, it's about to surge again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've played played uh the the extent of i guess the main quest that is available in early access so you get the first act mm-hmm. out of do we know how many three i think three i believe yeah uh, classic <laughs> that classic <laughs> three act structure um so yeah i've played it it op- it's it's still a little early accessy which is okay but i kind of thought it would be much much closer to completion given it's out in Three weeks or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think the thing they've said is that, yeah, there's like, it'll be quite updated when it actually hits release. Uh, And the early access has been going since like 2020 as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, But it it is an uh, adaptation, essentially, of Dungeons and Dragons. That is the big thing. A lot of the pre-release sort of media has outlined like it is the best adaptation of the Dungeons and Dragons system to a video game that's ever happened. Those mm-hmm. first two were that for the time yeah. as well. Like yeah. I loved them back in the day. And like mechanically, like a lot of the the Bioware RPGs used that system, you know, the just in the background. Whereas I think this game, I haven't played the previous two in like, you know, years and years and years. Which apparently you don't really need to for this. It's like set 120 years later or whatever. And It's a new separate. D&D campaign, yeah. yeah. But like the... And so just if you don't know, it is an isometric uh, role-playing game, action-based, where you uh, get into combat and it's turn-based. It's very similar to all those like tactical RPGs that have come out in the past five or so years that we've all really enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Um, but in between, it is quests, it's walking around, it's talking to people, it's picking up items, it's trading, 
items, it's crafting, it's... I, I don't have enough fish to sell here at the market. Mm-hmm. If you could get me 11 fish... I'll, yeah, I'll give you a ring with a plus three to dexterity. Uh-huh. That is the game. Uh, the writing's fantastic. Like, mm-hmm. that is a strength of it and has been, you know, with the previous games and, and the sort of surrounding uh, D&D-esque games. Um, visually, it's fucking awesome. So, like, all the cutscenes and dialogue and stuff, it zooms into, like, a, you know, not a Fallout-style head-on, but, like, a, you know, little rule of thirds, you know, you talking to someone. Dragon Age-y yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. It, like... Which this isn't Bioware, by the way. This is the people who made Divinity Original Sin. Yes, games. it is. Um, graphically, it looks fantastic. Like, the facial animations, the detail, like, it doesn't... I think, you know, you think... You know, isometric RPG. Maybe I mean, maybe just because I've been playing them for so long, mm. I I don't didn't expect that level of like fidelity and and animation and stuff. And it looks fantastic. There's such an you know twenty plus years ago they sort of fell out of favor. Yeah, this, this style and then kind of came back in the last eight or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, definitely in my head they're still like I don't know. Neverwinter Nights was like yeah. as good as they got. Yep, because mm. I haven't gone into these recent ones but this is the one that's gonna suck me back in yeah and so it looks fantastic it runs okay um there's little things of like you know when you um go to camp you will uh, like your parents yeah start crying on the first day people will prank you and (laughs) put your hand in warm water while you sleep and make you piss the bed and um no like it'll sort of cut to a loading screen, then it'll like flash up with like your characters lying on the ground where you were and then flash to like the, you know, so there's all these like weird buggy sort of glitches and stuff of like, uh, you didn't like program the loading screen to be long enough. And, you know, like just little things like that where knowing it's early access, I'm totally forgiving of, Mm. but um, it's there if, you know, you haven't bought it yet and you're considering it. The save does not carry over from early access no. to normal. Which I I got really sucked in. I got really sucked into playing this. If you've done sucked that whole... Sucked in big time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you were standing in front of a kneeling bear. <laughs> <laughs> but like if you have gone through... Because I've seen people say they've played one go through of Act 1 and it took them 50 hours because they right. did all the side stuff and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my go through was eight hours... And I just right. barreled through the, the main story, which is great. There's a lot of, you know, propulsion in the storytelling and, mm-hmm. and motivation. Uh, but also just that fucking gameplay loop of, you know, get into a combat scenario, bang, 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 maybe lose, maybe reload, but, mm-hmm. you know, go about it a different way, work your abilities in. You got to like, yeah, manage, you know, items, you got projectiles, you got fucking magic, you got bows and arrows. Play that. And in itself is just a fun game, divorced of the setting. And then in between, it's fucking talking to this little goblin fella who's got this little thing for you to go and do. Oh, and, yeah. You know, nice. get back to town and sell a bunch of your shit and gear up. And all of that's really Moorish. And I just played all the way through the story. I, I got to a point where I knew that I was going to have to replay it. Right. And co- just couldn't put it down, basically. Like, cool. it was really, really enjoyable. Nice. And you're and, not bothered yeah. by having to go and do all of that again no. the second time around? I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Cool. And it's yeah. the sort of game as well that, like, the first ones kind of were, and they have talked a lot about this one, where you can replay it multiple times as different classes and mm. whatever and different ways of doing each of those Absolutely. quest lines. So it, yeah, it's it, kind of built for that in some way. Totally. It has that classic yeah RPG thing of like, well, you can be a dick to this person. You can be, you can lie to them and pretend you're being nice to them. You can right. actually be nice. Um, you can side with this person. If you decide to, you know, like uh, help these people, then it, Cuts off a certain other storyline, or you can burn their village you down. You fucked or... a bear. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come into the inn. <laughs> uh, you can decide to persecute all furries mm-hmm. if you so wish. <laughs> um, so yeah, a, a lot of replayability. Um, visually, it's great. Uh, yeah, that sort of you know um, mechanical structure of the abilities and all that stuff is very fun. Mm. The 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 combat's really well tuned and challenging. I can't remember if there's a difficulty level um, option or not, but whatever it is, it's pretty well, it was well placed. I, I, I'm either playing on normal or it's, you know, just a flat difficulty. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm I'm all in. I'm really excited for it. Fuck I, yeah. I think this 
will potentially be my game of the year. Oof. Great. Yeah. All right. I, it's, I'm looking forward to because they've been talking a big game about it, but like mm. people love those Divinity games. Yeah, yeah. And I've played two. Right. That was the one as well that people were like, holy moly. It, it was fantastic. And they're... You know the, the the classic Dungeons and Dragons thing is a good canvas mm-hmm. for them. Um, I'm really looking forward to this too. Yeah, they're talking about like oh, it's 75 to 100 hours to finish, right? Which I believe uh, August third, right? Yeah, the, the full things out. I'm yep. gonna wait until then, but I'm excited too. Oh, mama! <laughs> oh, fuck that bear! <laughs> oh dear! Uh, I've stumbled across a little game. Do you mm. know how you fuck a bear? Please. Raw. Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to do um I was going to do before. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Here's my impression of someone talking a big game. Okay. Skyrim, 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 Skyrim. Oh, yeah. all right. We've all got something in the back burner <laughs> yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Well, this I think is our I'll job. Sit this one out, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, there's not a there's not a ton coming out sort of until mm. then like Pikmin 4 will be good, but uh yeah, I've, I've of yes. Well, I've been playing Pikmin two like you. Okay. Oh, right. Moved on from one to two. Finished one. Ended up doing everything in the thirty days. You managed to get it done. Uh, big relief. He doesn't. Uh, what's he do? Uh, if the you bad ending, he like kills himself. Or something. No, the, the, I'm the, the, the leisure suit, Larry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I think he turns into a bear and fucks you. <laughs> oh, that's a great ending. <laughs> no, it, you your ship explodes oh, on the God. way out. But right. if you get all thirty, you go home. He makes it. Yeah. Challenger happy. style. Challenger. Yeah. 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 You know what's yeah. funny that I read. Like, uh, you know, you think of, you know, Miyamoto, he's given the world so much culturally. Oh, he's a genius. And then he makes Pikmin and it's this is more pre- prevalent in the Japanese, the way it's like written and read, mm. but that Olimar is just m- the syllables of Mario shuffled around. Oh, sure. Oh, it's okay. like... <sighs> <laughs> I, yeah, there's someone else's name came up as like the director at the end. Oh, right. Oh, okay. as well. So I'm not sure because Christopher Nolan. They definitely talked <laughs> about Alan Smithy. Oh, I don't know yeah. who that. Uh, the the uh, Miyamoto was definitely talked about at the time as being the. Yeah, I Pikmin, guess they but. cranked two out pretty quickly after one. Well, Certainly, for in one, the director's name is. Oh, someone right. Else. Okay, sure, sure. But then, yeah, I've gone into two. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a big improvement in some ways. Yeah, where like. Uh, the the lack of the impending overall month mind. limit is is nice, and they replace that challenge with the caves that you've talked about of like basically just separate little dungeons little, that you yeah. go through. Yeah, where time stops when you're in them, so you can just get the get the like puzzle done and get everything. In right, there. right. And the time is meaningless basically yeah. above ground anyway because you've yep. got infinite days. I right. like getting the little emails from back home in between each one. There's a lot in there. Uh, it's still quite challenging at points. Like there are some bosses and whatever in those mm. caves that are like pretty hard. Um, I can tell I'm wearing myself out on it, so I'm going to pause right? because yeah. 4 is coming out and I want to play that, but they're all great games seemingly. I'm okay. like kind yeah, of annoyed I, I missed out on them all. It really time. is helped in 3. <laughs> From 3 on, you get like a lock on, so it makes it easier for fighting the guys where you like... Your perspective can be a little off in yeah. 1 and 2 mm. but, and like you're just throwing them a bit weird or whatever. Mm. Yeah, so. It's definitely helped by being able to just like target the thing because i found that with like the bigger enemies in two where i'm wanting to throw my little guys on onto an enemy to fuck them up yeah and I, th- a lot of them like just accidentally end up going just in front of them and get eaten and then they run around the su- like there might be one where it like rolls on its side and squashes anyone on the side and you've thrown it at their face which is where they're fine yeah but then they go just to the side of it and then run around right to the middle of the side to attack him so you're whistling them back going like fucking do what i say man god i love the whistle <laughs> i love playing a game that is like infuriating to anyone observing it where they're just like <laughs> My girlfriend's in the kitchen just constantly hearing, <laughs> just like rallying my little guys around All me. All the time playing Pikmin on mute. Yeah. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> 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 there's that. And then there's every time you chuck him, you get him. Yep, 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 oh, yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. I've genuinely been hearing those noises yeah. like at night oh, while I'm going to sleep or whatever. It's they, got that really cool <laughs> thing <laughs> where like. Little noises I reckon there's Pikmin some Pikmin made. in your house. Yeah. I'd love that. <laughs> I, I would started too. seeing things moving around. Yeah. yeah. Get out my whistle. Yeah, go get me a bloody juice from the fridge. Yeah, bring me it's go forty of you. Go get a big coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love the the music stays consistent across all of them. That little mm-hmm. theme when you're 
back in your ship at the end of the day. Yeah, 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 and you're doing that that, like vibey sort of, um, and yeah, the emails that you get from like your (laughs) kid, like finding out in two that Olimar has kids, and they're emailing him, being like, "Dad, where are you?" (laughs) The music in like some of the caves and stuff is great too, and sounds and Trent Reznor plays games because he like played a lot of Doom and asked if he could do the soundtrack for Quake. Mm And it, this music sounds like the social network oh. yeah. in some points, like the kind of organy bits. Yeah. Uh, so answer me what that, you, Trent. You think this <laughs> is like the rumours for a long time that Michael Jackson had done Sonic 3 before it was confirmed? I, I, <laughs> for no reason. There's tr- Reson's not accused of anything. No. They're just keeping tight-lipped on it. Yeah. yeah. He also did the music for Baldur's Gate 3. Specifically, I want to fuck you like an animal as well. Oh, oh yes. There he is. Anyway, I'm sorry. That's you one gonna... for the socials. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nothing to make people go, next, quicker than going, that's one for the socials. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been playing a game that um, just kind of popped up on, um, I think it's on everything, popped up on all the eShops called Garlic. I'd never heard of this. Yeah. It's a little... What eight- are you, a bloody English chef? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was going to make that exact same yeah. joke and then I was like, no, that'll upset my mum. <laughs> and she she's can't on the eat socials. Garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Can't she? No. Like actual... I've got a friend who just found out they've got a garlic, not allergy, but mm. like... Garlic, onions, all that mm. sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's brutal. It's a health thing. I know. I know. It, it really... What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Truly, what's the... Yeah, my friend the other day was like, yeah, I've done this exclusion diet and I found out... Ugh. Yeah, garlic, onion, they've got to go. And I'm like, that's yeah. tough stuff. Yeah. yeah. As long as you can still eat maybe like chili, chuck that, mm. some spice, like she literal can't. spice. Fuck. Oh. She's bad with spice. Salt. Yeah, okay. Salt. Soy, you know, like soy, soy, chuck a little soy sundae. Soy here. sauce. <laughs> so I was going to just say soy sauce, but like yeah. you know, soy, like, um, Miso, you know, there's some other flavors. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, that's. But not as many. Yeah, no, as oh, you'd want. It, honestly, it, you don't need any of the others. If you are allowed to have garlic and butter, yeah, then that's you it. can make restaurant quality meals. That's true, home baby. It's true. By simply yep. eating a stick of butter and a clove of garlic, mm. cutting out the middleman. That's the secret. That's why restaurant food tastes so much better, because they're not you. Observing how much you're putting into your own cooking <laughs> yeah. to eat yourself. Yeah. They don't give a fuck how much butter and salt is in there. They because want you coming home, back. Yeah. They want you happy. And they, it tastes so much better at a restaurant because at home you're just eating full sticks of butter and cloves yeah, and garlic. They, they dress it up a little bit. <laughs> they yeah. chuck like this stuff called meat on there and like <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> so you were playing the 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 food stuff garlic. The food the food based game garlic. Mm-hmm. It's a precision platformer, they okay. keep calling it. Like super meat boy or whatever type of thing, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's hey. as Put that together with garlic. Oh, Ooh. my God. Yeah. You chuck some fucking... salt and sanctuary on there. Oh, <laughs> Remember okay. that game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably a Pepper Ann video game at some point. Yeah, yep. get Cooking Mama in the room. Yeah. You've, you've got something. Mm-hmm. Boil it up. So that's what it is, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Precision Platformer, you're, uh, you're, a little, you're a little garlic head boy. Mm-hmm. Um, you're trying to scale this tower. It's very, mm-hmm. you know, very like surface level story. That um, I don't think it's quite as punishing as a Super Meat Boy. It feels, and I also I never, I never played Super Meat Boy. I'm more familiar with Celeste, which I yeah. guess is like the, you know, yeah. next evolution of that kind of idea. Mm-hmm. It feels so far. I think I'm about halfway through. It feels like a yes, yeah, slightly more forgiving Celeste. Right. But it's um, lots of like. Lots of checkpoints, lots of little areas where you're really having to, you know, time your jumps, do your little grabbing onto the wall, shuffle up here, work out the timing of these, you know, spinning fire mm-hmm. blades and stuff like that. Um, but it's got this great presentation. It sort of looks like a – it's sort of 8-bit, sort of halfway between like I guess a NES and a Game Boy game. Like it's got that sort of palette of like mm-hmm. – an original Game Boy game that you would put into like the like Super your Game Boy, or whatever. Kind yeah, of. where it's just like kind of three colors, but the palette is changing, you know, for every new area. So it's kind of like refreshing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. And then there'll be these weird little sort of mini game things in between um, each level uh, that might be, you know, the perspective will shift and you're sort of walking towards the screen now instead of it being a side scroller oh, okay. and you're having Ooh. to dodge things. Uh, there's a bit where you're just like running through a level and you just find an arcade cabinet and you're playing like a sort of 
space invaders y kind of thing mm. to unlock and get more points for down the line for the stuff you're trying to do. It's cool. It's like twenty dollars. It's like a I don't I don't know if these people have made anything before. Mm. I think they're like a pretty obscure little French developer, pretty small <laughs> little team by the sounds of it. That's so funny that a French developer's first game is garlic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> straight away. Yeah. But um yeah, it's really cool. It's got a bit of that sort of in its aesthetic, it's kind of pizza towery in the in the like character design and the animations and stuff mm. like sense. you know when he hits a um like when he hits a, a wall of fire or something his head kind of like blows up and his eyes got like pop out and he does that kind of very ren and stimpy ish kind of like right, like right. running around um yeah it's fun if you like that sort of challenging platformer it for me it hasn't quite gotten to that level of yeah like a celeste where it did get like incredibly maddening and mm-hmm. you had to be so precise with it and there was like celeste was a lot more giving you these different abilities abilities each time and there was like one actual way to do the little screen that you were on yes this is a lot more like sort of tears of the kingdom me like it's there and but you can sort of get around it multiple different ways like okay. depending on which of your skills you've kind of built up the most like you can do this thing where you do like basically a ground pound that then you can push a thing immediately after and like rock it into the air mm. and then do a dash. So if you're like really nimble with that sort of stuff, you could do it that way or you can just sort of, you know, do your sort of wall jump and sort of time it precisely so that you're going back and forth. But um, yeah, it's it's very forgiving with the checkpoints. Like you're never having, you know, and it like resets you immediately. So you're never having to go back too far and like, you know, lose too much progress. It really is just like here's one screen Here's one little thing to get through. Mm-hmm. You do that. You hit the you hit the flag. Then you're like, you know, you're on to the next bit. You've okay. Played this bit, but it's um, it's cool. It's like a yeah. It's just the right amount of like challenge without like I wasn't really feeling when I went into it like doing something that was just going to be like too maddening mm-hmm. and too frustrating. Um, it's like a lot. Yeah, it's a bit more of like a forgiving take on that kind of thing. With a cool aesthetic and yeah, it's like twenty bucks. Nice. It's a yeah. It's what a good is this on? Did you? Say? I think it might be on everything. Okay. okay. I'm playing it on the Switch, but where did you hear about it? Uh, I think I can't remember honestly. Okay. I think I, I think I had seen it on the eShop, and it was kind of hard to tell if it was like worth going in on mm. or if it was just kind of one of those shovel wary sort of things. I think I just saw a few posts about it here and there mm. and just went oh it looks cool and then yeah i think i yeah i don't know just all of it like it was already in my head and then you just see one person go like oh this is pretty cool and yeah like, right oh, okay well that's someone right endorsing it it's clearly not just something that's like it's actually got something a bit to it yeah that's, it sounds like you've had that thing like you know if, you, if you're like driving and realize like you don't remember the last 20 minutes and you're yeah. just like there but with buying a game on <laughs> yeah <show>. yeah totally <laughs> totally <laughs> well at least now ones. i know where i heard about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> on record one of those ones where you're like i kind of can't remember how this came into my life mm. but no i definitely i did see it on i saw it on the e-shop to begin with <laughs> and then somewhere i saw just a an actual person be like yeah yeah hey check this out and i was like okay i guess it's not because a few places have reported on Maybe we should do this for a video or something. There's mm. like a dodgy Last of Us knock up on the Switch oh, yeah, eShop. Yeah. Did you read about this? Where it's like all of the presentation of it looks, it's like the same font. Yeah. It's, it's called, called like, like The Last Hope or something right. like that. Fake Ellie standing there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it was it was kind of hard to tell if it was in that, uh, in that category yeah. or not. But um, yeah, if you're looking for, I, it's, relatively short i think mm-hmm. but it's yeah it's it's pretty well priced for what it is and mm. yeah the style of it's cool the music's cool the um it, it feels great to control it is it really okay. is that thing where he's so like quick and responsive that yeah that thing that you need in a game like this where when you're failing it's your fault you're yeah, never like yeah. you know it's it's really tightly done and yeah it's got this cool style and Little bits in there that are mixing up the formula. Mm. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of see. It feels like it's the sort of thing that's maybe building to like a a big weird kind of thing at the end. Right. Even more of a twist. But um, yeah, it's neat. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Garlic. That's my review of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably how people felt about it when it first came onto the scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty weird at the end there because mm. it's kind of like, I guess, attached to this 
root. Yeah, mm. it's a yeah, yeah. A it's bulb like, shooting out of the ground. It's yeah. challenging, but not too much. Yeah, you right. Know? It's sort of like Celeste. I mean, mm. spring onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I said that. Sorry. I don't know what Celeste means at this point in time. <laughs> yeah. Just a friend of mine, I guess. Yeah. She <laughs> just kind of smells weird. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the sequel's got to be called More Garlic. Mm. Right? You got to like, add yeah, more garlic. Yeah. You can never have enough garlic. Yeah. Is yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, where do you go from garlic? Too much garlic mm. is the end point. Yeah, I guess. yeah. What about ginger? Oh shit! That's a spinoff. Right? I forgot about ginger. Or the second player, like the tails. Well, gin- to your, yes, exactly. To your Sonic. Yeah, yeah, ginger's ginger's coming in. Nice. I like like it. Japan, maybe they use ginger there more. Mm. I suppose. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's us done. Yeah. Beautiful we'll check, stuff. Yeah. Few uh, few recommendations there. Check those games out. Is yep. Pikmin next week, or are we talking? Pikmin's in a couple weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll have we'll have a couple of you know sort of different episodes or whatever uh, for yes. the next couple of weeks. We will. Yep. Little little holiday, but there'll still be weeks on the on the on the same days. But we're just pre-recording them. Yeah. So if we don't talk about Pikmin or whatever, that's mm. why. Yeah. But we will. We'll be talking <laughs> Pikmin when I'm back. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big chance of having completed it on the plane. <laughs> I would love that if you just don't even do anything on your holiday. Yeah. yeah. Other than Pikmin 4. Yeah, switch by the pool. Mm-hmm. Pikminning it up. Fuck, Fuck, I can't wait. I can't wait to just pluck some of those little bastards out of the ground. I love yanking them out of the ground. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then like having the two people in Pikmin 2 pulling them out at double the speed. Oh, yeah. When you get the upgrade that your whistle makes them jump out too. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, you're Pikminin. What, <laughs> what I really like is I find it very funny that they probably could have found a more elegant explanation for this, mm. but then they just settled on this. So, you know, you're a little spaceman. Mm-hmm. When it gets to the end of the day, uh, it's very dangerous on the Pikmin planet that you're on, so your spaceship has to go up into the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And it's also dangerous for your Pikmin to be uh, on the surface. Right. And so they have their own little spaceship oh, that yeah. they also... It's. I love how it's not like... <laughs> they don't come up with anything that's like nature-based or like I something that gets them up into the air. It's like... Um, and. Uh, well, as a placeholder, we'll just say that they also have a spaceship. We'll, t- we'll kind of turn it into something else. I yeah. always took it that they'd evolve their little onion to go up in because it's like a biological spaceship. Okay. So they like fly up at night because but the, the, uh, evolutionarily. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I never. Yeah, I never got that from it. I did. Well, one of you's right and one of you's wrong. <laughs> they need to do a. You know how they had that big, um, that big Zelda uh, compendium book that's yeah. got the official timeline in it. We need one of them for Pikmin, Where's and it's the like four times the size of the Zelda one. <laughs> <laughs> Going deep into it. Because, they, well, this is the other weird thing. Maybe I should be saving this for our review of four. Mm. But this is the other thing about those games. Okay. Is that for all intents and purposes, it's like, oh, I've crash landed on a strange planet. And then it, it's like the little things you're finding. It's like, oh, shit, this is Earth. Yeah. But then it's like, well, what are all these little fucking creatures doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, Shiggy. Mm. <laughs> well, that's going to do us for another week. Thank you for listening. Filthycasuals.com.au. Get onto our Patreon and uh, oh. reap the benefits of Giant July that we've got going on right now. Uh, we've got the video of us doing a playthrough of a bunch of games with patrons. We've yes. got the premium Bandcamp episode that we put up. Where They're we up now. Frankenstein. Yeah. We tried to make the perfect game using sp- separate elements from games that already exist. Yes. So the best element from every single game to put together the ultimate game. Yeah. Yeah. I think this weekend you'll get to watch along The Wizard with us if you find a copy of The Wizard. But we did a commentary for it. Of the the 1990... Uh, End of sentence. Three? <laughs> I think it might Is be it 90? 90. Because uh, Mario oh, Brothers, yes. oh, it's got to be like 87. Yeah, I true. Think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, classic 80s film that happens to involve the game Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, it's an interesting watch. Yeah. And mm. then uh, we play through an FMV game for the last one that you'll get the week after. Stuff. Yeah. All through July. If you want to go watch something for free, uh, we play Time Guesser. Mm. Uh, mm. The other week, and we've just put it up publicly on YouTube, youtubecom slash Uh That was a fun. It's a fun ass game, time guesser. Yeah. And patrons have access right now to another video where we're doing a little something Oppenheimer, a little something Barbie. Yeah, yeah. Go have a look. Yeah, uh, check all that out. FilthyCasuals.com.au. 
Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals... Baldur's Gate 3, eh? Talk about polar bear.